That's a terrible time. That's uh, there's very okay. few places that you and, that that are worse in uh, in Smash games than in uh, than <laughs> in an I'll get thrown combo in Smash <laughs> Wow. All right, so I got that grenade to Daisy. Nothing unexpected, and the fun continues with Rosalina, Luma, and Wolf for Wadi and MK Leo. They're going secondaries until they prove they have to go their main. I mean, the, it could be now. It could be in winter right. finals. If they don't, if they use this team against Mars and Sonoda, that that's gonna be like a safety. Right. Well, they could. Let's see. But they gotta get through this test first here. Um, Razo going Daisy and Greninja is you know, so slippery in this game for Schroeder and Schroeder always, as we mentioned, teaming with Algan, a very, very good, very good double. Play. Extremely good double play, making uh, top eights. And he was frequently making top eights at, at all the events he goes to uh, for doubles. But already the early. Oh wow. Very uh, unfortunate where he just he just happened to land right in front of Leo and was like, right. I'll take that for free. That's nice. Yeah, Wolf is just so powerful, especially in the hands of a player like Leo. You can't say enough. But, but he drops his stock. And it's like evaporated as uh, he, was, he got knocked off stage by Razo and then Schroeder just finished with the stock. A very good cover by Leo, giving Wadi enough time to get back to the stage to throw out a blaster and then followed it up with, you know, his own down air. Just little things like that, just, you know, kind of minimizing the damage your opponent does in the advantage state just by covering your teammate. That separates the, you know, the good team from the great team. Exactly. Leo continuing his assault on the main stage, trying to keep his opponent separated and even comboing right into Wadi's up smash. Double up there for Wadi, and that's going to close out Schroeder's second stock. And Blue Team might be down in stocks, but because of the... Oh, uh, never mind. They're down two stocks. They're down two stocks, actually. I was to say it's pretty close, but I didn't see the third stock on Wadi. Wadi, no, Wadi like is a, a man <laughs> who it doesn't like to share. Yeah. Uh, he's very selfish and does not like to give up his stocks. And he MK loves Leo, his stock. Uh, you know, <laughs> MK Leo not complaining at all about it. You do you, my friend. You <laughs> okay, Wadi dropping his first stock. But Lucian still has a mountain to climb. Okay. All right. And some big plays. And now they've uh, now they've brought it a lot closer. They're, they're down a percentage, but they even up. I mean, it, it's exactly like the percentages aren't even that far apart. The deficit is very easy to climb because damage uh, is just so high in this game. Oh, wow. Breathing around the S-Nash. Lazo is able to roll around it and now running a few up airs of his own. Getting the wheels turning on Wadi a little bit. Unfortunately, not quite enough, and there goes Schroeder's stock, and both blue team on their last stock. Let's we'll see if they're able to make some magic happen here to close out the set, but right now, Red Team, you know, they're pretty comfortable lead. Right, the wall of Razo has appeared, and we continue to just hit the Red Team over and over and over. He was even boxing out Wadi from trying to approach and help out Leo. Leo fearless off stage with Wolf going in there. And you saw Wadi, Galaxy Break play. He tried to put still Razo into uh, the smash attack from Leo. <laughs> yeah, but just missed space. Very unfortunate yeah. from, from uh, Red Team. Would have been a highlight play for sure. Oh, that, yeah, that would have been amazing to see. Maybe next time. <laughs> and don't look now, but Blue Team's threatening just a little bit. And they're able to clear out this Wadi stock. But they could put the pressure on the red team. At the same time, you know they're focused on Razo sitting at 132 percent. Just you know, a few percent more, and uh, Razo would be in that critical range. But there goes Wadi. There we go. Blue team. This is where they wanted to be. Wow, Razo with the big play. But using a second jump, burning it to make sure he gets back to stage. Oh, there's the big brain play using the substitution. Wow. What a comeback from the blue team. They looked like they were so far behind. And it just like in the last minute of the match, something clicked. And they could not be stopped. And, you know, good substitution off stage. I mean, Big plays by Razo. The knowledge uh, from both those players really coming into play. Just knowing what they could get away with, being able to convert that down air into a forward air, and then using the substitution. Right. And Leo and Wadi, that's the first game they've dropped all tournament. <laughs> so is it time? Is it is time? It time huh? Is it time? <laughs> Let's see what level of L they need or do to they uh, have, switch up the characters. Do they have faith in their secondaries. Oh, oh they're going there right back. All right, this 
This is a best of five, so even if they drop this game, they still have one more opportunity to, yeah. uh, to switch if they feel like they need to. Plus but the entire loser's bracket if uh, if that's the route that they want to choose. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't recommend it, but, you know, they, uh, they, they have earned the right to do whatever they want in bracket if they're that good. Go! We're opening up PS2, and you know, just let's see if Rosalind and Schroeder are able to ride that momentum that they had into, a, you know, an early upset warning. Being up 2-0 against this team is a lot, a lot more friendly than being 1-1 tight. That's true. It looks like both teams are opting to go for the 1v1. Yeah, just kind of isolated off, off stage, and that team is controlling everything. Schroeder doing a good job. He's keeping up with uh, Wadi and damage. Um, not letting it extend too far. And of course, Leo just bullying Razo off stage. Yeah, it's, like it's rough going. Oh, okay. A good bait on Razo's part. Good bait it out of Leo up smash and got back onto the stage right there. Okay, both members of the blue team on the right side of the stage. Oh, big no punish from uh, Griffin Toad. And now. Red team is still in firm command. There's that out smash. You kind of get the feeling as soon as you see both both uh, the blue team off stage, it looks like one of their stocks is going to go just because of the command of the stage that the blue team has. Leo and Wadi so good at controlling space. Oh, there's a Peach Bomber off stage. Uh, Ooh, okay. Big play from Raza. Right, Raza's two things. There's all three stocks just like Wadi. Yeah, Raza's definitely the X Factor that Daisy capable of putting in so much damage and so good in the edge guard. But unfortunately, drops that stock right there. And blue team down to their second stock uh, coming in here on game two. Of course, Wadi putting up the big wall. That is Numa. He's playing, he's playing very defensive, in, uh, especially with his with Numa position. He's often seeing Numa actually being behind Wadi. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, yeah. And definitely in this game, we were kind of commenting before how Wadi has been very good about holding on to Numa. Numa seems to be dying a lot more frequently. This match, I was kind of wondering if maybe it's the, the nature of the two characters they're going against, especially with uh, Razo and Daisy throwing out so many hitboxes. There it goes from again. Wow, good down tilt conversion into up smash, and Razo also able to pick a body stock. And Leo and uh, Wadi in a little bit of trouble here. Schroeder and Razo putting in so much work and have quite a bit of a lead. Oh, there's that stock pull. Oh, going for the down smash to try and clip a uh, Razo, doesn't find it. Now the percent's uh, favoring the red team here. But that can disappear in the blink of an eye with the damage output Raza is coming through. Okay, up row, up air going to whip. Good synergy. Good synergy. That's right. Red team still being in sync. Yeah, especially with Wolf, it's down throw. It looks like he gets so much mileage off it. He does true to, true to the brawl for him. Up smash from both members of the red team. Only one of them was able to connect on shoulder, but Schroeder continues to just keep knocking around this stage with only one stock left. It's not looking good for, for our blue team. Looks like we're going to see uh, a uh, share stock situation. Schroeder's just got to hold on for dear life. Because if he's able to, then it puts the uh, blue team in a much better striking position. Right, but that's a shield break, and that's going to be an easy kill. One stock apiece. And where are you going, Wadi? Did he think that that was Leo's or that that was Razo's last stock? I don't know what just happened. Because uh, because both members of blue team lost their yeah. stock, but uh, Razo had one more, and Wadi just like floated off to the side. And MK Leo being so smart, just waiting in the back, letting Wadi control the engagement. Oh, uh, the throw invincibility. Kind of difficult to deal with in this game. Right. I mean, not, not all the knowledge is out there just yet. Oh wow. Razo with another big play. You gotta talk about MVP for the blue team. Yeah. So is that SD from from MK Leo and Wadi uh, going to cost them this game? Defense are about even. Luma able to slap Razo away and another oh. back air. Big cleanup from Wadi. I was about to say if Razo's able to get back in that situation, then they're in business. But Wadi so smart goes down deep for that edge guard. They able to pick it up. Yeah, that was almost like a horrible, horrible turn of events <laughs> for Leo Wadi. Right. But now it's 1-1. Just, uh, you know, MK Leo and Wadi taking a deep breath. They were 
on the brink of being down 2-0, but they're they tried and true team for now. Uh, Rosalina Luma and you know, uh, I mean that well, might be the holding it. That might be the wake up call. Yeah. So like like hey, all right guys, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe we gotta rethink the plan here just a little bit, uh, change it up. But maybe just not like mean so hard. Yeah. I mean, keep, keep 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 going with the the, the oh, Rosalina oh, and the wolf. But, but, if, if, but, you know, as, as the bracket says, if you keep winning, you keep playing. Mm -hmm. They keep winning, they're still playing it, so. That's right. Okay. So, let's see. For game three, three we're headed to Town and two, City. One, go! Yeah, I think maybe they're trying to, you know, uh, open up the platforms a little bit. I think as far as counterfix, I, I don't, imagine it might be more beneficial to Razu than anyone else. As far as the peach combos go, for this specific stage. Oh, we'll make sure that. Just uh, opening up the game, sometimes the platforms uh, layout on PS2 might get in the way of some of the, uh, you know, the 0 to 65s that, the, uh, that Daisy has. Uh -huh. um, so, it is kind of, especially now when it opens up, it might be a situation where Roz will be working to go to work, but you can't go to work if you're getting hit by Leo or Smash. They put up back here. And Leo uh, sniping out those, those kill options, landing them both. But, uh, Skoder also looking for the same thing. He's gotten, he's so good at landing those, those down tilts uh, into forward airs and up smashes. Yeah, just a big time rebuttal on his part. So you want to take my stock? All right, I got the back. No worries. Now, this team's been able to take plenty of Leo stock. But let's be real, it's all about taking Wadi stock. Right. Because Wadi is the one that's really been the stock tank. He's playing the defensive game. He usually has Luma exactly right. in that position where it'll interrupt whatever uh, combo blue team is going for. Kind of like a 3v2 almost instead of a 2v2. We're playing triple versus uh, double. <laughs> uh, but the corridor is going to kill. But not before Razo had dropped another stock. So uh, Red Team still with a stock lead. Oh, uh, here we go. Strutter is trying to get the wheels turning, almost had it. Yeah, but unfortunately, Razo got caught up in the jab. Now both members, or now Leo's just forced to recover. And I think Strutter's gonna have to be careful because anytime that he throws out a, an up air, because of the multi hit properties and the delay on it, you kind of see Leo just scouting out. Anytime he sees a, a Greninja up air come out, he's gonna come in with the back air. I've seen that a couple times so far in the match. A forward air from Strutter, but a forward air from Razo, and that's gonna be a team kill. Very unfortunate. He's only bringing their. Uh, the distance between red and blue team that much further. Yeah, so in trouble and uh, Razo gone and yeah, so it's one firmly in red team's control. It looks like they, you know, they might have been buffering and downloading all the way through the first two games, but download might get might be complete. They might have this one unlocked. That's right. Every single game that uh, Leo and Wadi play, they just seem stronger and stronger. Yeah, definitely got a feel for how to really combat this team. Uh, not quite enough. Uh, I think it might have been good DI on Schroeder's part to just get up and away from that. Yeah, it looked like he just held up <laughs> to not get hit by an up smash. It's really smart stuff. Always want to switch up your DI to either avoid what's coming or uh, avoid the follow up. Right. At least put yourself in a position that it's possible to survive. At the very least. Uh, there you go. All right, one down, two to go. And it's going to be tough just because Leo just might have some percent on him. It's Wolf at 50. That's quite a bit more life bar to work through. I like the recovery, but it is going to net uh, Leo a forward air. To a couple gunshots. And now down tilt sneaking in by Luma. Not looking good for Stroder. Yeah, Stroder's kind of struggling to get off the like edge. <laughs> Acting like doing it's wide the yeah. <laughs> Is that the disrespect play? <laughs> Even checking his, his friend's shield? Yeah, neutral air, covering all those ledge options, and Strutter just unable to get back. Now as you can see, Leo just looking for the back air, but the dash attack, just having dash attack as a kill option is ridiculous. Oh.